welcome to a quick wristwatch review slash footage of the Tag Aqua Racer Can 1010. It's a substantial watch. Case size is roughly about 43 mil, 45 to the lug. Features the chronograph features with the 12 o'clock date. Nice brushed steel finish on the bracelet with the tag emblems embossed in the rear. With the aqua racer obviously in the back there chronograph switches on the side with the lug there being the aqua racer series so i'll just focus in there for you a bit better being the of the aqua racer series in my opinion slightly better finished than the formula one series um obviously it shows at the price point in the second hand market and obviously when they are new as well they do tend to be slightly more expensive than the Formula One ranges, and the, being the Aqua Racer series, they do, do tend to be um, able to go a deeper depth. Um, not that everyone tends to use them for, but they do tend to be like this one's a 300 meter um, depth. The Formula One ranges tend to be about 100, just from my research. So there you have it. Beautifully finished, the bezel's really nicely polished. It has the crystal sapphire scratch resistant glass, which they all tend to have nowadays. What a nice, nice finish watch. Price point, I think brand new. They're about £1,800. Um, in the in America, yeah, probably just over $2,000. Um, so if you're into Swiss watches and you are you just getting into them and you just want a nice durable watch obviously it does have the, the I think it's the Ronald uh, quartz Swiss movement in there so it's not something that you're going to need to service a lot but it obviously with the automatic ones tend to need to need to uh, be looked at now and again a bit more the quartz tend to be a bit more robust for that and um, from my opinion from my past experience with watches um, they are a durable watch uh, very nice would look nice as a dress watch. Obviously, you could wear that with the with suits so or a bit more casual, depending on um, on yourself. But yeah, but a nice watch for an entry level watch around about the two thousand pound mark. Um, second hand, you could probably pick them up for maybe up fifteen hundred, maybe maybe slightly less. Um, but yeah, what a nice watch. Uh, this one's with is my friend's watch. I just borrowed it off him for the review. Um, I'll just slip it on some wrist there. So the clasp there. It is a bit. Fairly easy there. Nice, nice chunky watch. Fairly heavy, not not ridiculous. Um, but yeah. So if you're into getting into Swiss watches and you've got a budget of maybe about fifteen hundred to two thousand uh, pound, the Aqua Racer series is a good one to start with. So yeah. So I hope you found this video informative. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, obviously, when I've been looking for some of these watch reviews on certain watches. You can't tend to see a lot of real world sort of perspective videos. Um, a lot of them either tend to be marketing videos um, or very quick, um, maybe on wrist videos. So I hope you found it informative. And if you're looking for an Aqua Racer, uh, this is the Can 1010 model chronograph um, reference number. So thank you for watching. I hope you found it informative and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye.